Welcome back to make way for Cat. Oh, Char, you're so cute. We are going to head into the city now. Oh, nope. I want to pick you up. Let's ride. So we are going to... The city. Oh, there's lots going on in the city. You can see I changed my look a little bit. Um, much more closer to what I look like, IRL. And what I'd actually wear. Alright, here we go. I did adopt a pigeon and then I let it go. That was really just to get rid of that quest. That cat town? Oh, no, here's people. Malcolm. I'm Malcolm. I do Malcolm things in a Malcolm way. I could use someone to talk through something with, actually. I feel like you'd give good advice. Here's what's up. There's a big dance competition happening in the city next week. I've been seeing posters for it all around town. At first, I was so excited. I love dancing, and this would be a perfect opportunity for me to show that off, but... I'm really nervous. There are going to be a lot of really talented cats competing. And cats are super nimble and flexible. This city is teeming over with amazing dancers. What if I had just embarrassed myself? What would make you feel more confident? I don't know, do you think you could give me some feedback on my dance moves? Sure. If I'm really doing this, I need to decide which dance I'm going with ASAP. A dancer can't only have one move up his sleeve, I have three options. Okay. See another one. I kind of like that one the best. No, your moves are amazing. Now I just need to practice endlessly. Look. Okay, he stopped dancing. We've already picked up the trash panda. There's something this way. Oh. A little witch hat. Or witch house? Witch hat house? No, now it's just like a tower. Magician. Have you seen a dragon around here? No? Nothing to worry about it. I have the situation completely under control. I do not currently know where that situation is, but I assure you that whatever it is, it's under control. I'm Steve. Cool. Look at that cape. Very neat. Okay, we can't go this way. Sorry, I can't let you through official orders from the city. We got a mess of poisonous flowers all up and down the Clover Coast, and nobody's going in until they're taken care of. Good to know. Ask around the city to find solutions. Or to find a solution. Let's see.
I do want to see this Ferris wheel. Well, I think we can actually get in that if we time it right. I don't know if I can get him in here. Oh, yeah. Here we go, top of the Ferris wheel. The ocean. That's pretty cool. I know there's no fall damage, I could just jump out of here, but I'm just going to wait for a second. Oh, okay. I did not move, that's funny. But apparently Char was ready to go. I think we can get down a beach here. Oop. I think over here it's going to get too steep for us to walk. Alright. Oh, the kitty can swim! Get it, Char. Good job, Char. Up, back up. Oh, we got another animal here. Dog, I think. Pick up Ollie. Yeah. Hi! <laughs> this cat's like, I want to go back in. Get me out of here. What? Where are you going? Hey! Oh, I can swim too. C Char! Char, where are you going? Come here. There we go. Come on, cat. Oh, okay, the mount speeds. Oh, no, no, mount. Mount speed, I think, is back here. There we go. The music go. Oh, I think uh, one of our townsfolk is here. Ooh, an arcade! Cool, cool. Oh, she, that's where she is. That's right, she works here. Um... Oh, I want to play. No, no mini games. Yeah, no idea where the music went. Oh, here it comes. All 
Alright, we need to go up in that center section. Is that here? Yeah, it looks like it. Lee. Hey, wait a second, you're new. I'm Lee. We should be friends. We're friends now. And you cleared the way to Heart Village? Maribel's fashion store is the best. We should hang out there sometime. Okay. Getting to know more people. Oh, look at you. That mushroom skirt. Oh, this is, uh, Jin. Oh my gosh, hello. I'm so excited to see a new person in town. I heard you were opening up the cafe again. I'm so excited. Please save something sweet for me. Uh, I wanted to talk to you about something. Mushroom spores for Lily. Oh yes, I have them right here. She asked me to say sorry she couldn't make it herself. Lily worked so hard in that flower shop. I wrote up some instructions for her about the kind of care each of the different kind of care each of the different spores need. Give her these two, okay? Hey, and looks like one more person. Ooh. Party down here. Oh. Car. Safina, are you my three o'clock meeting? No? How rude of me. I'm Safina, CFO of Cat Core. My assistant told me that the Heart Village Cat Cafe was reopening under new ownership. I'm so glad we were able to connect. Have you ever thought about opening a franchise of cat cafes? Merchandise? Children's cartoons? The possibilities are endless. Let's do lunch sometime. Actually, we could use some outside perspective. We were just discussing where we should have our company get away this year. Golden Grove is lovely this time of year and so much quieter than the city. Isn't there a giant monster living in the Golden Grove? Really believe such a rumor? What if we got a cabin in the mountains? We could spend evening or every day at the hot springs. Hot springs with my co-workers? Like taking my tie off in front of you all? No way, I'm too shy for that. What about the witching woods? They say there's wild catnip growing as far as the eye can see. I'm not going to the witching woods. I heard there are giant plants there that eat cats. Could we rent a house in Heart Village? It's so quaint and cozy and I heard the cat cafe just reopened. Best cat cafe on the island. Oh no no, the last time I went to the cat cafe I made a complete fool of myself. I'll never live those pictures down. How about a staycation? We're so often blind to the beauty and culture all around us. And blind to the beauty and culture we could be binge watching on TV. This conversation is a staycation. If we want to spend a week in the city not getting any work done, we'll just keep having this conversation. Clover Coast. It's quiet, scenic, beach activities, taking ties off is optional. Yes, Clover Coast is perfect. But all of Clover Coast is off limits right now. An invasive species of toxic flowers has completely taken it over. Oh, that's awful. Huh. I've made my decision. As the largest company on the island, it is our social responsibility to revitalize this public space. You. The one that's not a cat, as far as I know. Meow. Would you like to work for us as a temporary consultant? Your goal is to make the beach safe again. I was going to do that anyway. I suggest you start by finding a flower expert. If you need help, you have all of Cat Corporation's resources at your disposal. I think we know a flower expert. Oh, trash pandas down here. Oh, okay, so we met a bunch of new people. All the guys, really, right? Except for um, the one girl's dad. Oh, I did learn a thing. Hold on, I need... In 
inventory. Boom. That's a thing. You could warp back to the house. Jello physics on the bird. All right. Oh, tigers up there. Oh yeah, the red panda. Hold to wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Ooh. Oh, okay. Alright, we got a little bit of money. Okay, so our next quest is to talk to someone who knows stuff about flowers, which... ...is right in Heart Village. I gotta talk to Malcolm again. Talk to Lily. I don't think this is Lily. I think Lily is over. Yeah, it's Blossom. Oh! Gave me a recipe. Did not expect that. That's cool. I think Lily's over here. Yep. Hey there, flower friend. I did the thing. Yep, and she sent instructions about them too. What's for sale? I didn't realize she had stuff for sale. Garden path? Oh, outdoor furniture. Cool. Okay, find a flower expert. This is a flower expert. You're like moving of your own accord. You might need to come back later. I'm a teensy bit distracted right now because, uh, well, I must have used the wrong combination of potions on my flowers just now. Something, um, really weird is going on with some of them. They've all started, you know, don't even worry about it. I was just about to close up shop and run to Autumn's place. Can I see what happened? You don't need to see this. And neither does my dad. Ah, I forgot I can't leave the shop alone or Pops might notice. You know, get all worried that my potions are too dangerous again. Oh dear, do you think you could help me? Yeah. Here's the plan. I'll distract him with board games. Meanwhile, you run to Autumn's place and ask her for a potion that will, um, make the flowers stop eating each other. And then bring it to me here, okay? I promise I'll make it up to you. Okay. Are you the flower expert? Hey. All right, Char. Here we go. He's the flower expert. Poison beach flowers? I encountered that myself recently. Clover Coast used to be one of my favorite napping spots. Oh, and to grab a few new flowers when I could. 
Can you clear the poison flowers? I'd love to, but they wouldn't let me in. Said it was too dangerous for the public. I even showed them my badge to prove my flower authority. They said my badge was just a flower in my lapel. I said, exactly. You could try appealing to Mayor Kiva, though. She doesn't do much ordering people around, but she is technically in charge around here. Mayor Kiva is over this way. She's around where the shops are. Which I think is actually this way. Oh wait, I could just look to see where she is. I don't know if I see her. But let's check out some goods. What's for sale? Spooky coffee table. Cute cat tree. Elephant hat, rain boots, red panda tail, knee high socks, a crown, why not? Cool. Okay, so we need to run to Autumn. Oh, and the mayor. This is the mayor's house. A okay, pink. Oh, I didn't realize there was a whole. Okay, so zoom. Folk. Oh, we still have more people to meet. Okay, so Kiva, pink hair. Okay, she's down on the south edge of town. Is that... That's her. Hey, friendo, how are you doing today? Boys and flowers? So beautiful, so dangerous, so like us. I'm sorry, friend, but it's far too risky for you to handle them. Poppy sent me. The father of flowers himself? Well, of course I trust Poppy. He's the one that identified the flowers in the first place. Oh, but that would be a huge project, and the island is all out of public funds right now. Maybe we could do a fundraiser? A bake sale? A pet wash? Cat Corporation also sent me. The Corporation of Cats itself. Well, if they're footing the bill, then what are we waiting for? Go tell Poppy to start right away. Can do. What's the story, Morning Glory? I like it. Good to go on the flowers. Why don't you go call it a day and get some rest? I'll have those poisonous flowers gone before sunrise. That's trick, you see. The best way to avoid angering the flowers is to sneak up on them while they're sleeping. Okay. Alright, let's go get that potion from Autumn. Okay, so we need to ask them all for more things that they need help with. And that should help with their hearts. I didn't realize there was a heart system in here. Okay, where am I going? 
I need to go this way. There's my cat cafe, so the mountain's here. Uh, I want to talk to you about something. Actually, I'm here on Lily's behalf. She's had an accident. She says she needs a potion to, s to make her flowers stop eating each other. What on earth did she... Oh, you know, now that you've said that, I can actually s see exactly what would have caused that. Golly, that was quite the oversight on my part. <laughs> okay, let me try and whip up a fix for you. This one will be on the house. Just need a little bit of powdered liverwort, a pinch of ground-up foxglove, hum -de dum Anti-flower cannibalism potion. Okay, run along. Or actually, wait. I just thought of something. It's possible that this one might have the side effects of making the flowers want to eat human food instead of each other. Hmm. Well, it'll be an interesting experiment. You just tell Lily that if her flowers stop growing, she can feed them some leftovers or something. See if they like that better than sun and water. Thanks! <laughs> she has a shop. Okay, Char. Oh, these are all potions. Okay, rainy day potion. Start or stop rain. Nighty night potion. Change time to night. Make the clock run faster or return to normal. Change time to morning. Start or stop the clock. Turn hair into a colorful cosmic void. Ooh. Become an ice cream sundae. Let loose to fly around curious animals. Turn a bird into a griffin. Or at least that was the plan. It's not quite perfect. Only works on birds. Kind of like that one. Change animal to sparkling night version of itself. Dye your hair and make your eyes glow. Okay. Nothing I need right this minute. Okay, so we are on the back side of the mountain. Going the wrong way. And I'll go back and talk to Malcolm. I did the thing. There you go. Autumn said there might be side effects. There always are. I'll figure it out. Thanks so much for your help. Ooh. Autumn bought some coffee.
wanted to talk to you about something. How did the dance complicate? It was amazing. I can't thank you enough for encouraging me to go and for helping me pick out my dance moves. You really boosted my confidence. And guess what else? I got second place. Congrats. Yeah, I didn't think I'd be able to place at all going against dancing cats. I feel like I can really follow my dreams of being a dancer now. Here, you should take this. A design? Alright, Char. Hey! Well, there's no way I'm catching up to Char. Okay, so what do I need next? Oh, not that. Sweet Tooth, Blossom wants you to put her favorite sweet a roll cake in the cafe for her. Can do? Oh, this is the stuff they like. Savory, sweet, and fancy. Okay. Um, we need to go to inventory. Uh, inventory is this one. Thanks for abandoning me, Char. Roll cake. Okay, so we need flour. I love roll cakes. Um, let's see. I don't remember how I changed it out. just before and I can't remember oh I think it was from this book okay currently on display display case I'm gonna replace it with got a savory And that's where I'm going to end this episode. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.